Hello my friends, this is your friend Jay, Jay Madhav. I wanted to record a little video for my uh, members, the members of my scuba diving group. I got into scuba diving three years ago, I immediately got hooked, I just love it. It's um, um, really just like being in another world under the ocean. Especially if you're in nice, warm, Caribbean, clear water, getting to see all this, uh, the marine life. You go down, it's peaceful, all you hear are your own air bubbles coming up. Um, like I said, I'm addicted, I love it. I had a chance to go two years ago to scuba dive in Belize, in uh, the famous Blue Hole, Belize Blue Hole. Um, and I want to encourage my fellow divers to <clears throat> to go there if you're interested uh, in diving as a lifestyle like I am. I um, the Belize Blue Hole is here's a couple of facts factoids about it. It's the only oceanic only oceanic sinkhole that you can see from outer space. It's that blue and deep. If uh, I have my figures right, it's about 500, 575 feet deep. And I don't know if it's 100 feet across or... Uh, no, sorry, 1,000 feet across or 1,000 meters across. But anyways, um, it's an oceanic sinkhole. It's an oceanic sinkhole. And the scuba diving is amazing. And, of course, I didn't go down 500 feet, but I went down 130 feet. And at, at which point, you will see sharks... And on the way down, you'll see a lot of alligators. Um, so you got to be not squeamish about that. But it is one of the most amazing experiences if you're into diving. So I highly recommend it. And Belize is a great city too, by the way. But getting to the, to the Blue Hole, you'll go from San Pedro. I think it was like an hour and a half by boat from San Pedro. And another few little tips for you that maybe you can benefit from if you're planning a trip. Their peak season is November because a lot of people go there that are trying to avoid uh, winter weather, well, November-ish weather from wherever they're coming from. <clears throat> but I actually went in September. And I got to tell you, that ocean in September is so pleasantly warm and it's just, man... The water is great, uh, super comfortable, clear as hell. You go down, you see all the marine life, like I said. Um, you name it, stingrays, sharks, alligators, everything. Again, what probably got me hooked more than anything else is it's just really like entering another dimension. You're in another world. You really are like in another world. That they're so foreign underwater. And you've, it's like you've left the planet Earth temporarily and very peaceful very quiet but anyways um good destination awesome destination for scuba diving i recommend the divers go uh by the way as i mentioned november is our peak season so if you go in november you're going to hit a lot of tourists it's going to be busy san pedro is going to be busy i went off peak in september it was really nice it was super quiet Belize City was quiet. San Pedro was quiet. Nobody was diving in the blue hole so much. Um, so I kind of got a really good deal on things, meaning not price-wise, but like what I mean is the boat wants to go out with six people or eight people, right? Because they're excursions. They take you out. They got to make money. They don't want to go out with one person. Although in my case, they did. I like my private have <clears throat> my own private guide and boat and everything but if you go out in November you probably will get have to register in advance for the trip and the dive you'll uh, just have to schedule it and then you'll probably pay about 50 bucks it's very reasonable I had the whole boat to myself because there was it was November and nobody else was there I think I paid about 300 bucks to get my own boat worth every penny of it um, to go out there and just have my own boat, my own guide, and not have other people on the boat and all that kind of stuff. So it was super, super kind of chill and low-key like that.
But there's also an interesting history about the Belize Blue Hole. And apparently, it wasn't always a sinkhole. It used to actually be above ground, above ocean level, and is a former Aztec. Was a former Aztec village, uh, Aztec civilization. Um, so that's the history there. And then at some point, I don't know how many millions, thousands, whatever time means these days. Years ago, it sunk and became what it what it is today. So those are a few little factoids that a lot of people don't know about. So if you're interested, you can look up the history. It's quite fascinating. Like I said, it's the diving is amazing. Um, if you're at the level where you can get down 130 feet like I did, you don't have to actually go down that far to enjoy it. You can go down 50 feet. You don't have light, uh, surface sunlight at 100. 30 feet so you better have external light sources but anyways the people you dive with and your guide is gonna have all this is gonna know all about this and <clears throat> I find it really really cool that fact about it's the only like I already mentioned is the only oceanic single that you can see from outer space on the surface of the planet Earth just because of how blue and how deep it is so if nothing else, you might just be curious to go Google Belize Blue Hole and just look at some of the pictures. Um, it's fascinating, but if you're a diver, if you're a diver, you've got to go. It's got to be on your bucket list, in my opinion. And I'll probably go back next year, but of course I have other... Uh, dive destinations on my list here for the next few years <coughs> and um, just gonna get them scheduled like like to do a dive if not two every year maybe one a year cuz I you know travel a lot we'll do a little work related travel anyway so probably won't look like a dive a year is about a reasonable pace for me there's some information on Belize, Belize Blue Hole from my scuba diving group. Hope you find it informative.